2022 Bel Air Big Reds, the on-field product is not the only aspect of change. A project that has been in the works for a year and a half is moving right along as the season nears. Uh, we started this project back in May. Um, our bleachers have been done in quite a timely manner in that. We got a new press box. Uh, around the field, we also are getting a lot of new concrete work. We have two new bathrooms on each side, one for home, one for visitor, and a brand new concession stand that's actually doubled our previous concession stand ability. For the players, they're excited to see the community enjoy the changes at Nelson Field. I mean, I think it's gonna be cool. I mean, see everyone in these stands, they've been working on it for a long time. I mean, it's gonna be fun having out everyone out here, you know, it be packed, hopefully. Another change at Bel Air this year, Head coach Mark Boner comes back to Bel Air where he started his coaching career all the way back in 1976. He will be a high school head coach for the first time since 2001. And despite all the change happening around the team, a lot of the things within the team will remain the same. You know, if you, ch if you change a lot of success, people think you're stupid because, you know, they just would think you're stupid. So uh, Coach Big really has great fundamentals. He's a very uh, disciplined coach, and, I, and there's a lot of things. He did coach things I... They did when I when he coached for me back or played for me back in the '90s. So, Spig did a lot of things right at you, and, and so we have great fundamentals for that reason. Seniors Jake Hetherington and Ray Ray Pettigrew have loved having Coach Boner at the helm. Well, last year was good. We had a lot of guys, a lot of big guys, a lot of experienced guys. I mean, we're bringing back like nine skill guys this year. So, his plays are really nice. So, I think we'll have a big impact about that. I mean, Coach, he's been coaching for a long time, so. We had a 10 and 2 season last year. I think we can come back with that stronger. And I mean, we're going to try to recapitulate that, try to do that again, especially with Coach. He's a very smart guy. So I'm very excited what he can do. These two changes are steps in the right direction for this football town. Things are looking really good. The community is real excited about football. They always have been. From the 1920s, when my uncle played, in the 1920s before he went off to college. But so, I mean, it, it's a football town, and they love this. And so that when they see stuff that makes us better, you know, they get real excited about it. Reporting for Gridiron Glory, I'm Grayson Wolf.